The trigger valve works with the head valve to fire your nail gun. When the trigger valve is pressed, it creates a differential in air pressure between the air reservoir and the cylinder. This causes the head valve to open, which fires the piston. The most common issue with the trigger valve is failure of the O-rings inside of it. When this occurs, air can leak from the trigger and often the gun won't fire. Replacing the trigger valve kit is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the magazine. Now we'll remove the retainer caps that secure the nose piece guard. Next I'll remove the rear two bolts that secure the nose piece to the housing. Next, I'll remove the two roll pins that secure the piston to the gun. The trigger kit comes with a punch you can use to remove these pins. Now, I'll pull the plastic guard back and remove the strap that secures the piston. And then I can pull the piston from the gun. Now I'll remove the O-ring and the pin that secures the trigger to the gun. And now I'll remove the roll pins that secure the trigger valve to the gun's housing. And now I can pull the trigger valve out of the gun. Now I can install the new trigger valve. I'll start by putting some of the lubricant that came in the kit onto the O-ring. This O-ring fits inside this inner portion of the valve. Now I'll place the spring inside of the valve and then place the cap over the top. And I'll apply some of the lubricant to the other two O-rings. And now I can place this assembly back into the housing. The side of the valve that has the hole for the piston should go towards the cylinder. With the valve in place, I'll secure it with the roll pins. Now I can replace the trigger. Followed by the piston. and I'll place the piston strap back over the top of it. Now I'll secure the piston with the roll pins. This lower roll pin also secures the nose piece shield, so I want to insert it through the housing until I have equal amounts of roll pins sticking out from either side. And that looks good. Now I'll reinstall the two screws that secure the nose piece.
and I'll use a small socket to install the retainers that secure the nose peak shield. I place the retainer on the pin, place the socket over the retainer, and tap it into place. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the magazine. And that's how easy it is to install a new trigger valve kit in your nail gun. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.